Here is my Dell Optiplex 960. I'm currently in the process of getting this thing back up and running again. As you can tell, I mostly have it up and running, but there's other things I need to do to it. And as you can tell by the title of this video, one of them is replacing the main cooling fan since its bearings are going bad. So let me shut up for a little bit so you can actually hear what the uh, fan sounds like. Hopefully the camcorder picked up the noise and hopefully I stayed quiet long enough so they can turn the volume back down. So I need to replace its cooling fan. Mainly because it's literally right next to my main computer here and since it's to the left, I constantly have a ball bearing noise going bad in my left ear and that is quite annoying. So to do that, I got an 80 mil Noctua PWM fan. Now, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but theoretically it should. All I'll need to do is just salvage the uh, fan connector from the uh, Dell and just basically swap it onto this Noctua fan. Now, I could have gone for the black and uh, gray one, but since this is my secondary system, I thought I'll just go for the standard uh, beige and brown to keep up with the Noctua aesthetic. I do plan on also eventually replacing the back fan on the uh, Dell's cooling solution, but for right now I just want to get the uh, front fan fixed. One thing I found very interesting is these little nubs right here on the side. These little nubs correspond with the cooling solution for my uh, Dell's heatsink. It's like this thing was designed to have the ability to replace a Dell cooling fan. Hopefully the BIOS of said Dell cooling fan won't go completely stupid when I put this fan in here. But uh, I'll have to wait and see. One thing to note right out of the gate is that this Dell is kind of rigged up. As you can tell I have a GT210 right here with a laptop cooling fan. That's due to the fact that I actually lost the original cooling, salute, the original cooling fan for this GT210. And this thing is complete potato. And even though it's complete potato, it still gets relatively hot. Second is the uh, storage solution right now. I have a 160 gig uh, hard drive and then an SSD for main storage. I do plan on eventually upgrading this hard drive to an actual like two, maybe three terabyte drive and move all my crap that's on this thing onto uh, this right here and probably store this thing somewhere else. This is actually a more powerful computer but since this is again my secondary system, I'd rather have something small like this instead of something big and bulky like this. And also another thing I probably need to do is I need to get another uh, SATA cable, but one that's, a, that's at a 90 degree because this one kind of clips right into the cooling solution right here. But it still detects completely fine. So whenever I actually do remove this shroud, I, need, I just need to be careful. So, uh, what exactly do I need to do to this thing other than replacing the cooling fan? Well, I need to somehow get myself a GeForce GT 1030 to replace this garbage GPU, upgrade the RAM from 4 to, 10 to 8 gigs of RAM, and also get myself a new uh, DVD drive because this thing never came with the DVD drive in the first place. I actually got this from my father's friend for free, so uh, there's that. And plus, this is still a good computer, hence why I'm playing it, hence why I'm getting it back together and whatnot. So the next thing I gotta do is I gotta remove the fan shroud. Luckily, it's just two screws here, two screws here, a little fan connector here, and a little fan connector there, which I'll probably just remove this uh, GPU for. And then I just gotta basically splice off this little uh, custom fan and put uh, this little custom cable, and then put it onto the Noctua fan, put everything back together, boot the computer back up and see what happens. So I'm going to go and do that right now. Alright, so I have the Dell hooked up to my main TV because it's kind of a pain in the butt to get it all out in here and whatnot, work with it and then just squish it back. So I just have it, so that's where I have it. And so far, it seems to be working. It's actually blowing quite a bit, which means it's working. It's making noise, which is to be expected, but it's quiet. Now, um, 
I had to redo the wiring one more time because I accidentally did it wrong. So let me actually shut the computer down and show you how to do the wiring for if you want to do the same thing to your own Dell Optiplex uh, 960 or any other Dell Optiplexes with the same uh, wiring pattern. All I really did was just Google search a uh, PWM fan pinout and I used uh, this image right here which basically has a color coordination for both wire types and I just basically combined them together to where it looks correct or to where the wiring is correct. Black and blue go to the exact same wire you just gotta flip yellow and red. Yellow goes to green, red goes to yellow. Do this and your, and your Noctua fan should also work with your uh, Dell Optiplex whatever. Now again, like I stated, I do plan on eventually replacing the back cooling fan of this cooler of this cooling solution down the road. But I want to do that after I get everything else for this thing all put together. The RAM, a new GPU, the DVD drive, a higher capacity main storage drive, and that's pretty much it. Because again, for a secondary computer, this is exactly what I want. And uh, I'll actually explain, I'll actually show you why I don't want to use this as the main uh, GPU other than the fact it's a potato. I'll show you after I get the computer uh, re-put back together. I can't find a power bank. So let me go get everything situated and come back. I guess the next thing I should do is show how to uh, get the cooling fan on to the uh, original Dell heatsink. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to use these little nubs that came in the box. I'm actually going to leave these little uh, pads on even though I don't think you really need them. But you just do this and you just do that. Pull them out again. Actually no, I am going to remove those little pads. So let me re-pull this out. Remove these since I don't need them for this particular uh, application. And then I'm going to take the side that's the uh, intake and I'm going to put these little nubs to the holes, pull like so, and they're in, it's in. And then we're just going to leave this little nub right there. So, we're, so I'm going to do the same for all, uh, four, all four nubs up in the front. Why are they made these fans specifically for these uh, for computers like this? Mm. All right, that's that. So there's something now. So when it comes to this cooling solution, there's these little notches that these wires pass through, and the notch for the front fan here is this right here. There's no notch on this side. So we gotta make sure when we put the fan in, we have the wires going out of this notch here. So to do that, we just go like so. And then all we do now is we just slide it in. And since this one's just a tad bit more thinner, it actually doesn't, it just gets right into that. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually just going to uh, push the uh, little tabs here into their little placement. And then we're just going to uh, make sure those are pushed in, and they are. And then we're just going to pull like so to bring these two tabs into their alignment. Make sure they're both in their proper alignment. Boom, boom. And there we go. Just like that, we now have replaced the uh, main Dell cooling fan with a Noctua fan which will also increase, or not increase, but also decrease the noise production and hopefully even increase the uh, the airflow from my particular little, uh, from my poor particular little Dell. And I will eventually, like I said, I will eventually replace this back fan right here, but I'm not going to do that until this one starts making noise too. This fan alone should be more than sufficient to uh, maintain this thing's cooling and hopefully as long as this fan doesn't start making noise, this is all the uh, replacements I'll have to do for this uh, computer. 
And I'm not looking forward to replacing the back fan, but the back fan doesn't look too difficult to replace. Just pop these little four little things inside like so, and this fan should pop out. But I'll deal with that whenever I uh, either need to replace this or I ever feel around to replacing this. So the next thing I gotta do is I just gotta re-screw down the uh, cooling solution, reconnecting the, reconnect the uh, fan headers, put the uh, side panel back on, reboot the computer, and hope to God everything works. Alright, so if everything is uh, as planned, it should reboot without an issue. Previous fan error, which is normal, so I'll just hit continue. All right, well, it rebooted and it's actually relatively quiet. I'll let the computer sit again and I'll restart it and see if that fan error thing pops up again. But considering the fan isn't, fan, but considering the fans are blowing at full speed, I think everything's in full working order. All right, so it's been on for about five minutes. Let's shut it down and restart it. I'll wait about 10 seconds. Hot damn, it rebooted without an issue. Which means I can uh, upload this video as um, how to uh, install a Noctua fan into a Dell Optiplex uh, 960. This should theoretically go for any Dell Optiplexes with bad cooling fans. But since this is for uh, Dell Optiplex uh, 960, I'll be giving it that title. And what is there to install Windows 7? You're retarded. So why don't I, so other than the fact that I need to replace the GPU because it's a piece of junk, why else don't I want to use that GPU? Well, it's actually quite simple. It's noisier than sin. So let me actually go and plug the uh, cooling fan in and show you exactly what I mean. It now sounds like a jet engine. It's more noticeable back here, obviously. So, other than the fact that GT210 is a potato, the original cooling fan is long gone, so when I actually want to use it for more than just small web browsing, I have to plug in the cooling fan because it kind of gets a tad too hot.